when I stand up, wow, for the first 20 steps, maybe 30 even, that's a, it's a tough uh, uh, time. But then it just eases off. At 81, Ed Charest is experiencing and living with osteoarthritis. The symptoms usually start somewhat gradually uh, with mild pain that may be intermittent, but over the years can intensify, become persistent, and ultimately lead people to seek medical attention. We're just going to bend your knee um, towards your head. Currently, there are no medical treatments to influence the course of the disease. We're looking to see whether vitamin D would reduce the level of knee pain and would make any difference to the structural progression um, as measured by how much cartilage they lost. Dr. Timothy McElendon from Tufts Medical Center and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial involving 146 patients over age 45 who had moderate levels of knee pain. Half were given 2,000 units of vitamin D daily and the others received a placebo for two years. Researchers measured pain levels using questionnaires and sophisticated imaging techniques like this DEXA scan. One of the unique aspects of this study is that we designed into it the option of increasing the dose of vitamin D to meet a certain uh, target level in the blood. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Vitamin D supplementation at a level sufficient to uh, raise their blood levels to those considered healthy um, did not make any difference over the two-year period to how much pain they experienced or the amount of structural damage that occurred to cartilage or to the surrounding bone. Ed says he manages his osteoarthritis by staying active, exercising, and simply just working through the pain. Is it important to you, Bert, because it's, it's my life. If I'm not flexible with that foot, then life diminishes. Being old is not that bad. I'm 81, and I don't even think about it. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.